Welcome to our 15th short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 2nd of March, 2021. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues, Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, my colleagues are ready to answer your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions in the GoToWebinar tool, which we will answer directly back to you. Very important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. We will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. And as always, this webinar will be recorded and uploaded to various platforms. To see it again, you can look on our help page, help.orgadata.com, our YouTube and our Vimeo channel. At the beginning of today's webinar, I would like to take a brief look back, namely to, na to last week and thus to the R&T Digital. Four days packed with events on very different topics and lots of visitors. At this point, I would like to say thank you to everyone who was there. In case you couldn't participate, the platform will remain open until the next trade fair in the year 2022. And our events are available as recordings. So if you want to see them, scan this QR code and you will go directly on our platform. And if there are any questions, you can contact us directly by mail and by chat tool. Now we want to start with Logical. Two weeks ago, we dived into the topic of Glass and we took a look at what the global Glass database has to offer you. Today, we want to dive into the world of project glazing. You can already see here an open project. And yeah, as you already know, you have many possibilities here to add some special project things, like special project articles, like uh, yeah, project wall connections, project profiles, and also you see it here, the project glass. At first glance, you might think that this is the same area as the global, global glass database we see in the last time. And that is on purpose. You have the same options here. So as before, the technical area here and also the commercial area. Everything here tailored to your special project. If you look at, it, at this closely, you have even more options here, namely here in the import area. And that's exactly what we are going to look now, one by one. And it starts here on the left side with the online configurators. Here you have always the access to the configurator of the German Flachglas Markenkreis. No access data or simile are necessary here. Secondly, and I think a little bit more important for you, is the Pilkington configurator. Here, you only have to register on the Pilkington website with your email address, and then you can enter this email address in the corresponding setting and use this configurator. If the question remains where you can find the setting, no problem, we take a look here. Settings, additional settings, then you have here the online configurators. And here you have many, many possibilities. And when you scroll a little bit down, you see here the Pilkington Spectrum Glazing Configurator. Yeah, here you enter your email address and then you go back to the project glazing. One thing I have to uh, additional say to you, you can find here many, many other configurators and also our other interfaces. 
our special Revit plugin, AutoCAD plugin. So everything where you want to use an extra program or extra software solution or an extra pro, uh, configurator, put here in the, the uh, access data and you have all the new and additional possibilities. Okay, but now back to our project class. Now you know how to set up the configurator and now let's take a look how, can, how you can use it and we take here the Pilkington Spectrum. There you, it opens and you come directly in the Pilkington Configurator. Yeah, and uh, there you have nothing more to do than take the, the glazing you want to use and uh, then with a double click and uh, now we have it here. So with a double click, close the configurator and you have all the information, all technical information directly here in the, uh, in the project class. You only have to add the, the prices and then you can use this glazing as you know it. In addition to the nice online configurators, you have more options for creating your own project glazing. For this purpose, you will find here more options. And the first option is that you can import an Excel file. This, this option, you know, perhaps from many other possibilities in Logical, address database, and much more. And uh, here you have the option to take a yeah, custom type. But there you have to define where Logical finds which information. Or you take the Orga data type then Logical knows where to find which information, and this is the easier way. But where you can find this Orgadata Excel type? This is not possible, therefore we take a look on our help page, help.orgadata.com, and here in the support part, you find here the downloads. And here you've got many, many different templates, but today we want to take a look on the import templates, and here you have many possibilities. The import file for addresses, for alternative articles, and you see it here also, also for the glazing. So simply download it, fill in, and import it very, very flexible, as I do it here. And the glazing is here directly in Logical. So very fast and easy way to bring in all the, all the glazing you have in the, in the Excel file. In summary, a wonderful possibility to exchange glass information between different logical installations or to use this file to exchange information directly with your glazing supplier. As an example for adding the prices. Are there any easier possibilities to exchange glass information within one logical installation? Yes, there are more. And uh, you have one more possibility. And um, last time we talked about the global glass database of Logical, um, which you can access from every project. And uh, here you can use exact these basic glazings for your project. And uh, yeah, the advantage is obvious because you can enter small uh, small changes very easy. I show it to you. We add here the one one of the insulation glazings. Take here the first one. Change here the outside paint thickness. Want to have here an LSG, and um, yeah, take here the thickness of the LSG paint. Save that, and so with a few clicks, you have uh, the basic glazing with some special changings. Some some special other paints here in your project glazing. Yes, so very easy and then very easy um, possibility. What other possibilities are here? Yeah, naturally you have also the possibility to, to get some other, some project glazing from other projects. No problem, very easy. And last but not least, you have also the possibility to get glazings of your Project history. In the course of a, of a project, the, the project glazes can of course change again and again, and perhaps a certain status is needed later because desired changes has to be undone. Then you import the glass from the 
the corresponding history of the project saves. So therefore you only have to know when the project class was changed, then you can import it and have it on an easy way back here in the project class. And this brings us to the end of the possibilities of the project glazing. I think with these possibilities, we have covered all eventualities with this. However, if you still wish, please feel free to write us. We are always open to suggestions for improvement. For the sake of completeness, we close this and now we want to take here in this example position the glazing, the project glazing. Nothing special. Take here the the project class, accept that, and yeah, finished. So as you know it, a very easy possibility. Okay. Um, yes. What do we want to do now? Yeah. The second uh, an additional point here is if you use very much project glazings and uh, yeah, you lost the the overview. In, in this larger project, you have also the possibility to sort the project glazings with the categories. I showed last time to you with the with the global glazing and logic and logical, and this is also possible here with the project glazing. So we have now really taken everything into account, and now we come definitely to the next topic. And these are the glazing bars. There are several possibilities. The glass dividing glazing bar, the glued on glazing bar, the glazing bars and the spacer. And uh, today I want to start with the first one. You can find these very easy and quickly here in the element part of the construction. And here you find the function internal rail setting. Yeah, at first you take the insert where you want to add some bars, and then you have the possibility to add verticals, to add horizontals, to add some free, yeah, some free, uh, free bars, and also glazing bars from template. And this is what we want to use here. You have many possibilities, and these are these these templates are directly logical from delivery. So. This you can use directly on a new installation, but you can of course change or extend them in the area of your own database. Today we take this one, okay? Yeah, and here you have nothing more to do to take the profiles you want to use here. How much in the horizontal and in the vertical? And then say, okay, yeah, everything is finished. Nothing more to do. So very easy and um, with this you have the access to all the possible profiles of the corresponding profile supplier here and Logical naturally checks what is actually buildable. So with this you are every time on the safe way as yeah as you know it from Logical in, in the other parts of the input of the elements. And yeah here we are finished and this brings us to the glued on glazing bars and in this course also to the glazing bars in the spacer. And for this, we jump here to the area glazing. Here you will find the option of adding glazing bar. At first, take the insert, then you have here also more possibilities at verticals, at horizontals, and here now we want to add some free profiles. And you can choose from where to where this, this uh, glazing bar should go. From this corner, yeah, on a fixed angle, or to this endpoint here. And here you can take the, the bar you want to use, take directly, construct really detailed how it should look. Yeah, and then it is into. And we do it again. And if you do it some more often, then you are very fast with it. Last but not least, one more. And when we delete here some partial, 
profiles, we have very fast and easy constructed here in Y. So, and everything others, what you want to do is here possible. Of course, these possibles, uh, possibilities are um, also applied to the glass dividing bars. So as what we see before, now here two, two questions remain open. You see here that I use my own glazing bar and um, yeah, how you can create your own glazing bar. And the second, how the whole thing look on the order. We take a look on the first one. The first question, how you can create your own glazing bar here. Therefore, we go here into the user database and take a look here in the fillings. And there, first you have here the Georgian bars. Yeah, very easy. It's the, these are the bars inside the spacer gap. And yeah, here have your, you have all the possibilities. You can give it a name, a description, um, side lines, maximum spacer gap, the price, and so on and so on. Very easy. And uh, yeah, with this, you can put it here into. Then on the other side, you also have to have the possibility to add some yeah, glued on glazing bars. Also here, we have to go into the user database and you find here the lay bars. And um, yeah, when we take here a look, it's a little bit more complicated. And um, yeah, it's easy to explain because these are extra profiles where you can use other, other suppliers uh, which have to be cutted and also taken into account for the cutting optimization and for the profile orders. And therefore, you need more information here. So, and uh, I would really like to explain how it really works here to you. But uh, with this, we will go out of this time frame today. And therefore, if you are interested in this topic, please let us know in the chat or afterwards by mail, and then we will happy to include it into one of the next webinars. Yeah, one last question is open. How does this look on the glazing order? Take here uh, the large pictures, and then we take a look here. And when we scroll a little bit down, you see here the, the, the normal glazings. And here on the second page, you see here the special glazing with the glazing bars. And uh, yeah, the glass supplier knows what to do and which glazing bar he has to use here. Yeah, okay. This is what, to, what you have to know. And I think this is uh, a yeah, very easy way. Okay. We can close it. and come now to the end of this webinar. The 20 minutes, yeah, are nearly over. And with this, we come to the end. But of course, I want to give you a brief preview what I've prepared for the next time. Logical also offers a directly integrated CAD, and we will go next time into detail. We will start with the basics to make it easier for you to get in the CAD. But of course, there will be also some tricks to make the work easier for experienced users. So, so be sure to tune in and register directly via our homepage. And with this in mind, we come now really to the end and the usual hint. If you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey and we will get back to you soon. So let's rock the week together, stay healthy. Until then, bye.